Can we really quiet down our sniper rifles and make them silent? Maybe. The best option that you have is convert them to HPA. You only hear almost the BBs flying. Besides that, you don't hear anything else. For a sniper rifle like SSG-10, VSR-10 or the uh, clones of them, which are spring-powered uh, bolt-action sniper rifles, we have only a couple of tweaks that we can do here and there to have a, a solid sound, not like that loud as it sounds like a toy. Um, we can do m some little tricks uh, here and there. Uh, besides that, there are not much to do. But let's look at what we can do here and there on the rifle and uh, see what we achieve. Let's get right to it. The first thing we can do is on the stock. Basically, we are going to fill all the empty spaces with some foam. When I say foam, it is just really only foam, soft foam. So the first thing we can do is the back side, so filling the stock here. This is all empty and whenever you are um, shooting the BBs, it sounds like a toy, so it's not really solid, it makes an echo and so on. So by filling them with some foam, we will achieve a solid sound. In order to do that, this is normally how it's going to look like. We have to first take these two screws out from the back of our stock. After that, we are left with this piece where you can see we have four screws. If we take them also out, we have the opening of our sniper rifles maple leaf stock. All the rifles have an opening here so you can just basically cut some foam and start filling inside. Fill all the way until the almost the handle. So where you have the grip, fill it all the way as much as possible. This is the first thing we can do. The second thing is filling the spaces that we have inside the uh, rifle where the uh, upper receiver and the outer barrel sits on. Just leave the um, uh, mag release and where the... So whenever we are looking at this, the hop-up unit is going to sit on exactly this point so I would recommend to leave it empty but besides that if you just basically cut again some foam you can fill all the empty spaces of the rifle also you can do also on the sides if you uh, like to so that we reduce the echo as much as possible the last thing that we can do with the foam is to help our inner barrel don't make that much of sound throughout the metal. So for that, I also cut some pieces of uh, foam, rolled them together like an uh, inner barrel spacer, and I basically put them on my inner barrel together with the uh, spacer. So I put like two of them and then I put the spacer and after that I have another one somewhere around here that I just lost most probably. So I have another one, I also, okay, it's down here. So I have another one, I also put this one in and since we are going to put the uh, cap, the, the auto barrel cap in front, they are going to be squeezed a little bit, but they are going to stay very tight in the auto barrel and will reduce the echo coming out of the empty uh, tube uh, that we have. So these are all the foam related um, mods or uh, upgrades or tweaks that we can do. Uh, let's move on to the next one. So the next two adjustments we are going to do is a, within the cylinder. The first one is called Sorbo pads. So we have from Laylax or some other brands if you can find some Sorbo pads which are attached 
or uh, sticked or glued into the cylinder head. Just where the cylinder head meets the spring, uh, sorry, meets the piston, and where we have the smashing, it is dampening the sound of the smash. Because the springs we are using are actually very powerful, this is actually not, uh, not a bad idea to dampen the sound a little bit. So if you do not want to get the sorbo pad and if you do not want to buy, you can buy a set like this, which has a lot of O-rings inside and with different, um, uh, with different sizes, with different uh, quality and different uh, materials that are like sponges. Some of them are like sponges also. You can also do a sorbo pad by yourself with sticking them together and then gluing this on the cylinder head. The other one that I would like to show is the mod so that this is called the uh, metal can or Coca-Cola can mod which is going on to the spring guide. So I have seen many uh, fellow airsoft players that are putting some uh, metal cans. So they cut the Coca-Cola can and put it around the spring guide, which I don't understand because we are actually trying to reduce the metal to metal contact so that there is not like this thin sound or this whistling or whatever going through the thing. So we are trying to actually avoid this sounds through flowing through the metal for that you can buy a set of uh, electrical cable binders where you have very different uh, sizes and widths and and thicknesses select the correct one like this one that fits to your size Cut it on the right side of the, uh, so the, the right size to the, to, so that it fits the spring guide, like maybe here. Put it on the spring guide, and then with the uh, heat gun, which I would recommend, or with a torch or with a with a, um, a lighter, you can just shrink this to have this nice. sleeve on top of the spring guide. This is going to reduce this thin noise that uh, metal versus metal uh, contact makes when the spring is uh, powered. The next topic that I would like to talk about is the air brakes. I do not recommend them. With my own ears, I didn't recognize any uh, change. Uh, with the people, with people that, oh, the, from the videos that I watched, uh, from the fellow airsoft players that they used uh, special equipment to see how much the noise is reduced, there's nothing, and you lose a lot of FPS. So basically, it is not reducing the sound, but you're losing a lot of FPS. Which brings me to the last point that I would like to tell: this sorbo pad, or also this maybe the uh, spring guide sleeve. sleeve are also going to make uh, you reduce some FPS. For that, you can upgrade your spring from M160 to 170 maybe, or you can use some adjustment rings that are going on top of your uh, spring guide that makes the spring a little bit tighter. So that way you give a bit more power when you're shooting. Uh, if you do not want to buy uh, the spring guides that Norwich sells with different sizes, you can also find these uh, in any uh, hardware store or you can use some bolts without the, the threads inside and so on and so forth. Besides that, these are all the things that I used inside the cylinder. Let's move to our last topic. The last thing that we can do to our uh, airsoft snipers is to use a suppressor. Uh, my personal point on the suppressors, uh, although they are working, actually they are really reducing the, the, the explosion that is coming out of, the, not the explosion, the air explosion coming out of the uh, inner barrel and they are dampening the sound a lot. Um, as you can see, with this size you are losing a lot of uh, movement capability or speed. So uh, you can get some small suppressors like this which are okay-ish, uh, but uh, 
remember that they you need to find one of them that is filled with foam inside because if you have an empty metal thing it's going to echo and it's not going to reduce or dampen any sound the next thing is you can get the Norwich one which has very nice uh, machine cut uh, maybe I can show you even machine cut foams inside with different sizes um, which is uh, allowing the air as you can see here which is allowing the air to crush into waves into two different hole uh, sizes so this is a very good idea and it's really working from my perspective it's really working one more time uh, you cannot compare these with uh, real suppressors uh, uh, that are used on real rifles but again with the Norwich one I also have the problem of the size it's very long it's heavy I do not like it that much so I actually went further and got myself a Rodale precision suppressor as you can see if you compare it next to each other side by side the Rodale uh, precision suppressor is even longer than Norwich one but there is a very interesting option or a property of this suppressor this is a modular suppressor this is the selling point so as you can see maybe there are some rings on the suppressor that you can take out so there are many rings with these sizes all of them uh, actually i can count immediately how many rings you have you get one two and three four five six seven rings that you can take out by yourself which is helping to reduce the size of the suppressor down to this size so now we can compare and most probably we do not need a longer suppressor this does not come with any foam inside so what I have done is that I actually cut some foam and filled it so that it just covers the inside of the suppressor then it comes with a metal band like this or a metal pin that you can put so that the, the, the suppressor uh, and the foam is aligned so the BB can fly through it straightly and I cut another piece of foam to put it between the cap of the suppressor and that metal band so I am taking the cap out and we can put it in so that everything is aligned and everything is looking straight and that's basically it this size is a perfect size for me and you can see that the space inside for a BB to fly is enough and with that last upgrade or the change we had with the suppressor as you can see this is the length of the sniper rifle we have currently so it's not going too much outside so it's still okay and it's going to still dampen the sound it still looks very nice from my perspective and it ended up being a very quiet one as much as we can get with a, a spring powered sniper rifle which sounds like this without a BB of course when we have the hop and also when we have the BB it's going to sound a little bit more solid and it's going to sound a bit more fascinating I would say I like the sound very much besides that the last word is again the the only way to make it even more quiet is to convert it to HPA so we need a, a, a air tank to carry with us so that it can just uh, fire the BB with the pressure air pressure 
but it's not going to have this bang effect of the spring that is smashing the piston to the uh, cylinder head and makes making a sound. So this is at the end what we end up with, as silent, as quiet as it can be. I hope you enjoyed this video also. I hope these little tips also uh, help you uh, when you are modding your rifle. This might be the last video of the series that I did uh, of my uh, sniper rifle SSG-10 or any VSR-10 or in its clones upgrades and assembly and reviews. Um, please do not uh, subscribe uh, to my channel for different videos which are going to be on uh, another series on ICS Komodo S3 or another one that I'm planning also to do with my CQB rifle. Uh, which shoots 30 BBs uh, in a second, uh, which is a GNG ARP 556. Um, please uh, continue following me. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. See you on the next series.